We have a special treat for you now. Introducing our first fighter, fighting out of the red corner. Representing France, I introduce to you, Naeem the Strangler! his opponent representing Sweden fighting out of the blue corner we bring to you Diego the silencer Gonzalez to get underway. Third man centering, Grant Waterman issues the finders there, final instructions. This is our second Abu Dhabi Warriors super fight. The man coming out of the red corner, Naib Hazim. He is a strangler from France. Going up against the Swede with the Spanish name, Diego Gonzalez. Both boys experienced fighters. Nice left hook counter from Gonzalez early which encouraged Hazim to go for immediately the single leg, which he secured. Gonzalez looked to be very effective with his striking, but uh, you can't do much when you're on the bottom. He's stuck it's a, at the moment in half guard. Oh, that would suggest he's a submission expert, Gonzalez. Uh, he's managed to get him into a butterfly guard. Looking for the up kick, pushing away with the hips. Those hips have been cleared though. Gonzalez turns the hips out again, secures the leg. Looking to stand up, turning up in the middle. And his arm, once again, in a dominant position. He's still got his left leg though tied up. Perhaps looking for the guillotine there. It's still very dry, they haven't even got a sweat on. And briefly attempted the armbar. Now into the butterfly guard of Gonzalez. Hazy, good hand control, controlling the wrists, looking to get a dominant position from the ground and pound. Sharp little left hand from the top, he's posturing up. And then it was a nice really shot left. Those are nice sharp nice punches. Shot. All those are landing pretty hard. Straight. Nasty hammer fist. Yeah. He's talking to him as well. Not sure what he'll be saying. I'm not sure they'll share the same language. 
So one, one from France and one from Sweden. So. Gonzalez just trying to control the wrist hands. He's looking to find an to opportunity up. to get up. He's got the knee shield across there into half guard. Certainly he is not enjoying being on the bottom and those are some sharp punches that Hasim has arm is ripping down. Another one. Chopping sh shot from the right hand from right, the outside. Left, left right's in there. Gonzalez hasn't had any opportunity to exercise his stand up. He was taken straight down from the single leg early. This is the first of three five minute rounds. Gonzalez looking for the opportunity, but uh, Naib, his arm just looks too strong. Yeah, he seems to be dominating there. He's just picking those shots. He just, you know. Well, those are energy sh sapping shots. Very hard to get up. He's looking for the opportunity to get up. Those are some big shots here. Grant Waterman, the referee, looking for the opportunity. Looking now, his arm for the guillotine. Taking the back. That was possibly a mistake. He gave it up, but now he's back on the crank, neck crank again. Gonzalez is just looking like he's trying to get out of that. Gonzalez is all out of that position at all. He's made a couple of attempts to get up, but he really needs to get back up and exercise his stand up those, because those shots definitely have to add up. He's trying to control the hands to eliminate some of that ground and pound. Uh, slapping yeah. cuff from Gonzalez Taking on the bottom, another, and that served five shots in. only to annoy his arm. He's just the landing other, almost at will. The referee actually has to say something about fighting back at some point. He's and not he hurt him. And he's winding up for those shots. I mean, those are power shots. Yeah. And you can see the face of Gonzalez, the worst for wear. He's looking for the reversal. At this point, he has his hand between the thighs of Haysam, but he wasn't able to secure it. And Haysam just continuing. He's now got wrist control there. Cleared the arm, was able to land three or four shots from the top. He's still in his arm's half guard, but he's quite happy to be there because he's dominant from the ground and pound. Yeah, Gonzalez has pretty much been in the bottom of the whole fight up to now. Gonzalez looking for the reversal once again. All that weight on top of him has got to be tiring too. Just very, very draining. Yeah. Underhook there from his arm, just compresses his weight from top position on the chest. Looking to clear the knee perhaps. No, oh, back into half punches, guard. More shots in there. He yeah, with more shots in there. And and he was trying to get him to stand up now. No, he's just wanting to, to clear those hips. He'll secure yeah. an ankle. Try and flop past. But uh, he's been dominant. Dismissive Gonzalez really. refuses to get up. I don't know why Gonzalez yeah. wouldn't want to get up because that's really his only opportunity. He was waiting for the bell. Well, that was a dominant round for the up. He seemed the strangler, the Frenchman. He was dominant from the top. He had a couple of half-hearted submission attempts, but for the most part, it was a vicious ground and pound. Diego Gonzalez really... Those shots, this is a powerful shot. After, after getting up from the first takedown, he really lacked any energy or the strength or techniques to work his way on top, and he was very much defensive. Let's see if uh, Gonzalez comes out with a different game plan in the next round. Well, other than an early left hook that Gonzalez landed, yeah. nice counter left hook, he was he land, pretty he much overpowered. You see, hips forward, clears those hips from here. His oh, no, arm. shots landed pretty straight on the jaw too. And he's very relaxed there. In the guard of Gonzalez, because it's not a dangerous guard. There's n well, there were no submission attempts thrown up. It was all defensive. Gonzalez. Oh, big right hand from the overhand. Comes up with the left hook once again. Looks for the double leg takedown. Well, he goes for the single. Let's have a look. Gonzalez looks like he has something there. Gonzalez is actually working on something there. Oh, there's a tap, there's a tap. Oh, An arm in choke of nowhere. made a mistake. His arm, the strangler, has been silenced by, by Diego Gonzalez. After dominating, he made a mistake early. He got his head and arm trapped. 
and a half guillotine arm and choke his neck was cranked and he was forced to tap well that is a turnaround for the books and now Diego Gonzalez he will go through to the Abu Dhabi grand finale and you see it there we're a little bit obscured but it's essentially an arm and guillotine oh, and choke and very deep Diego Gonzalez pulls one out of the bag, and that is why MMA is so exciting. Anything Mr. can happen, a single mistake, Lugo. and it is all over. Exactly, I don't think anybody expected that coming. All right, this bout I comes to a stop in the second round with your winner by way of neck crank, fighting out of the blue corner, Diego the Silencer Gonzalez. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the winner, Diego Gonzalez. A very tough first round. You weathered the storm. You took some big shots. Naive uh, Bellator veteran, very tough opponent. What was your game plan coming into this fight? No game plan, just fight. Excellent victory. How do you feel about punching your ticket to the grand finale in Abu Dhabi this December? I'm excited. I have to do better than this. So I, I look forward to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause. Diego, the silencer Gonzalez, he's back this December in Abu Dhabi.